officially founded Bright Youth in 2012. Um, prior to that, I was surfing or bodyboarding professionally. So, and grew up in a remote Indigenous community um, and did everything as in played footy, uh, cricket, and anyway, ended up choosing, choosing bodyboarding um, and couldn't get any support because it was a kind of unique sport in a sense where it didn't have funding models to support you to go through scholarships through school like you do with footy and cricket, that kind of thing. Um, so I really found it tough to get, you know, some support to help me travel and go to competitions and stuff like that. So um, I had to move and then, you know, I, did, I had a pretty successful career in, in bodyboarding for a number of years and then, you know, it was obviously always a passion, passion of mine to be able to come back to the community and support them. Um, and kids that were looking for a creative kind of outlet. Um, so that was the, the whole reason for founding Bright Youth was to support young kids in remote communities with a creative passion, basically. Um, so we started initially doing entry-level programs, such as surf schools, um, footy programs, um, some art stuff, uh, music creation, uh, with some of our really good ambassadors, um, AFL players, musicians coming along to support those programs. Um, and that was really successful. And um, yeah, had a, lot of, had a lot of success doing those first entry level programs. Um, but I guess now after several years of running those types of programs, we've really kind of got to a point where we're like, we need the support, you know, economic development in these remote communities, employment pathways, um, STEM IT type stuff um, that, that's growing in this industry. Um, we need to support the next generation of young entrepreneurial Aboriginal kids um, that want to be creative across the board, not just with a sports focus. Right. How, in, in terms of how do we attract Indigenous kids to move towards technology and digital? How do we encourage them from your perspective? Yeah, I think that'll be the trickiest part. I mean, a lot of these young kids don't realise that they're participating in, you know, IT and STEM kind of background um, platforms when they're gaming or when they're, you know, online searching or when they're building their social media platforms. It's all a form of, you know, um, STEM type stuff. So um, I think just finding a way how we promote it um, that that attracts those young kids um, to wanting to be a part of it and also creating meaningful employment pathways and entry-level opportunities um, that, that are exciting, um, that want to get young kids like this involved um, in more of a creative way than more of a just a data entry type role or something like that, something that's going to, you know, spark their creative minds, that's going to get them involved in, in pursuing a career like this. Um, but how that looks, I'm not sure. That's what we're working on. And um, uh, I guess only time will tell and you can, you can try things. And the more these types of things are being invested in, um, which is really good to see at the moment, um, I'm confident you know, within the near future, um, there'll be a huge amount of young Aboriginal people um, partaking in creative um, employment opportunities across the board.